Greetings from Charms Media. Now, I'm standing at Serene Park, the home to all en suite, four bedroom villas. And this is just about 40 minutes drive from the city of Nairobi and about 500 meters from the Mombasa Road Machakos Junction. The developer, Papodot International Limited, says this is a nice investment opportunity for investors and home buyers. I've come to take a look and the head of marketing strategy Renu Hunjan is ready to show me around. Hi Alex, how are you? This is the parking. Absolutely, yeah. yes. So this is basically the visitor's parking. Okay, this and is for visitors, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And so every house of course has its own uh, parking as well. So about three cars uh -huh. can accommodate easily. Okay. But out here, if you have visitors, you have an event, uh -huh. this, is uh, this is the ideal place to yeah. come and park. This building is the clubhouse. Okay. And so the clubhouse is basically only for the use of the tenants. So the residents would have their events here, they would have their functions here, they would have whatever. It's only for the use of the okay. guys who bought the property. Yeah. So not something from, no one from outside can okay. access. We are intending to make this into like a business center. Okay. So as much as we are working from home, uh, you know, people might want to come and have a laptop office setting here. Uh, and so we're trying to make this space into like a business center for the use of the, of the residents okay. as well. And on this other side, yeah. basically we want to convert it into like a convenience shop store kind of space okay. so that people don't have to go outside of the property yeah. to go and get like their daily kind of stuff. So okay. there's a business center and then there's a shop mm -hmm. for the convenience of the residents as well. This is quite innovative. Yes, it yes. is. Like the view, the pool it's here. an absolutely yeah. stunning view. Mm. So if you see from here, you can see the entire landscape with the hills. Okay. And I think this is quite picturesque. If you were to wow. ever draw something, this would be an ideal angle. Important. The water out in Machakos, as you know, it's quite, it gets quite hot. Uh -huh. And having a pool is something uh, very luxurious in uh -huh. this part of uh, the area. Yeah. You would expect maybe the residents to have their family functions uh -huh. here. You've got a small get together, and especially now with COVID, yeah. you know, where you have like 50, 60 people. Yeah. The, the club count, I think, can easily accommodate about 100, 200 people. Uh -huh. We have the gym. Uh -huh. So, again, the gym is for the residents only. Okay. Uh, and again, it's very well maintained. You've got equipment. And then on this side, we have the steam room. Okay. So, we have the uh, water closet, so male and, uh, and female separate. And then you have changing rooms, and then you have a steam room on this side. So even the acoustics in the place, you can see it's been designed um, with this TNG kind of ceiling. Uh, and the whole point was also with, you know, keeping in mind the different temperatures that we have. So Machakos gets hot when it's hot. Mm. And you see when we're standing inside, it's actually quite cool. And so we've actually replicated this in the house design, which we'll see in a minute as well. Okay. And uh, when it's cold, of course, then the wood traps the heat inside. So it works in both seasons. So all year round, you're actually quite comfortable in the space. Great. Every villa would have at least two parking spots, but then there's also additional parking on the outside where someone can then, you know, in case they have an event or they have guests, so we've allocated additional parking. Over here, I mean, you know, depends on how you want to use the space. Mm. A lot of people will keep it open or if they have like pets or something, they'll fence it in. This is a beautifully designed mahogany door, actually. So this is hardwood. Um, again, you know, the whole country feel. So if you look at the interior, and especially the way the finishes have been done in the house, very country, but very solid, durable stuff. This is the living room. Yes. And the first thing that gets your attention is the space, right? So it's, it's an open plan. People... Horizontal and vertical. Yes. Yes, so this is actually called a double height. Uh, so we've used double height ceiling here. So double height meaning, of course, that it's twice the volume that you would have on the standard thing. And again, very intentional. When you're sitting here, you feel like, you know, something expanding outwards. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yes. So the whole point is to also have um, this feel of space. Uh, so in the design of the, of, the, of the unit, you'll actually see us planting in little details to have space. 
And the ceiling that you're seeing here is something very special, uh, Alex, because so this is, I think, technical word for this is TNG. TNG. TNG ceiling. Okay. And it's very deliberate as well because, so Majakos, as you've seen, is very warm. Mm -hmm. it, it gets hot when it gets hot. So the design with the space and this kind of roofing actually cools the space down. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you noticed, but outside it was very hot yeah, and now it's very cool. It's cool. And of course, in winter, when it gets cold, the, the wood would actually trap the heat. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't feel that cold. So yeah. it's kind of like a way to moderate the temperature in the house. Mm -hmm. Something very simple, but such big impact. The tiling that you're seeing here is actually what we call matte wood finish. Matte so, wood finish. Matte wood finish. Mm -hmm. So it's not glossy, it's not going to reflect. If you've noticed, we've got a lot of sunlight. Mm -hmm. So all the windows are very large, uh, you know, sliding windows, but also like, we wanted like the place to have a lot of natural light. Mm -hmm. So um, if that light was to bounce off something reflective, it would look terrible. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> the matte, the matte uh, wood finish was definitely intentional. And again, the wood is, is complementing the entire design of the, of, the, of the country home. For me, this living space is not just the area for the living room, but also the dining. We've deliberately kept it very open. And the reason for that is, of course, you know, as a family, it's a, it's a family unit. Mm -hmm. So that interaction, that social factor between the mom cooking here, and not cooking in isolation and the father sitting here and this other side. So the dynamics of the family have been kept in mind with the design. So we want, you know, when the father's watching TV, the kids are here doing their homework or, you know, eating or something and then the mom's in the kitchen, they can have a conversation. So this is an open plan kitchen. Open plan kitchen. Open plan kitchen. And so what you see here is we've, we've furnished the house with um, the granite top. So this is a granite top. And this is provided, so the extractor, the gas extractor with the hood is provided in all the units. And we have um, a, a, a sort of allowance for, for the microwave and all of these things. And the unique thing about this kitchen space also is the, I think a lot of families or, you know, when you're developing a house, you don't give consideration to hot water coming in. Some homes do it, very modern houses do it, but then a normal house in a place like this, um, so the under sink heater is something that we provide as well. So this is the pantry area. So it's, it's not eating into the kitchen space. We've uh, left it open for however the resident would want to use it. But of course we do provide the shelving mm -hmm. in case the, the buyer would want us to put that in fitted ready for them. So this is the laundry area, which then opens up to the back side into the garden and this out here is your outdoor space you can have a little garden in here you can grow your own organic vegetables this here is the little uh, DSQ which comes fitted with the kitchenette and of course the ensuite uh, with, a, with a bathroom and and, uh, and so this room can easily fit a queen or two singles so if you have someone that's going to live here and then you know, they're going to work here, they would need their family around or they have somebody visiting, we actually want this person to also be comfortable. So again, we've designed the space to be enough for, for them. Part of the wider family. Part of the wider family, yes. yes. Great. Thanks. What else, Redo? So on the ground level, we actually also have a guest bedroom. And like all the other rooms, this is en suite. Uh, this is one of the four bedrooms that we have in the villa. Again, very spacious, very intentionally designed around how we think practically the person would live. Okay. And so, nice. we've, yeah. yes, yeah. we've accommodated space for a dresser, for a study desk, and um, you know, any other elements, even a couch, that maybe the person would want to have in the guest room. So these are full height wardrobes, and then we have this very nice, little feature so this is like a dresser but at the same time when you open it it's like a beauty sort of uh, medical compartment whatever you would want to use it for and again it illuminates so the bathroom very spacious it's not very you know tight in terms of how the space has been utilized um, if you actually go step in Alex you will actually tell us how you feel when you're when you're in that space yes very spacious very spacious
all the rooms actually are on the first level. So the rest of the three bedrooms all on suit are on the first level. Again, because it's a, it's a bedroom, it's supposed to be private. So this is now the living area for the family. Okay. Now, master bedroom. this is the master bedroom. Wow. Huh? Spacious. Renu, this is humongous. Double, oh. triple the space. I and can easily do exercises here. When yes, I wake you can. up, there's enough space. You know? <laughs> <So> <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, exercise. you can. Okay, great. And mm -hmm. so basically this would be the feature wall. Mm -hmm. uh, again, can be personalized however the, however the person wants to. Mm -hmm. And the idea with this room is we want people to actually spend time, mm -hmm. right? Most people, when they have a master bedroom, it's about the space, the walk-in, but Sleep, they're not really enjoying up, exactly. Yeah. So now what we've actually done, aside from the bed space, we've, we've got this other area where you can have a coffee table with some couch and some yeah. nice armchairs and enjoy this space. Yeah. Over here we have the uh, master ensuite. So we have the bathroom, which has a tub, and it has a shower cubicle. So this is the only room that has a, has a tub, of course. And all the, all the finishes, actually, all the interior work is imported as well. So very, very high quality and easy to maintain. What? This is the dressing area. This is the dressing area, but could be a, a desk as well. The desk could come here and people could use the space however, uh, you know, we do, of course, uh, also do consulting for deco. So if the person wanted to consult us for what kind of deco to, to put in, we do well, offer that as well. Buy. Yes, yes, we do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is our little walk-in. Uh, like I said, the focus of this room was to actually enjoy the, 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 you know, the, the space. So we've actually given a very standard walk-in space, but it's also secluded. It's not eating into the rest of the rest of the room. Now for the grand feature of the master is this spectacular view of nice. I can feel the breeze. Yes, the, the breeze. yes. Yeah. I mean can you even tell that you're near Machakos somewhere? Like really? Like this doesn't even feel like it's somewhere up country. Yeah. And what you've seen, what we've done with the design here is we've left enough space for you to put planters. You could put planters around here. But also on this side, we have what we call a pagola. And so from the outside, it's, it's uh, you know, you just see a light, nice little extension from the main entrance roof. But the idea is to make the space very green towards the entrance. So you could actually have planters on this space. You could have very nice hanging plants. And so it just really, you know, really makes the entrance stand out. Just adds to the aesthetics. Exactly. Mm. And you know, the ambience of the entrance, I mean, it makes it look very natural. So now this is the third level. And it leads out into a beautiful, beautiful terrace. Uh -huh. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Where in the city are you going to get this, Alex? <laughs> Nowhere. Hmm? Where in the city do you wow. get this? This is unique. Eh? So you can see that this is actually the road that goes to Machakos. Mm. That's 10 kilometers in that way. And then main Mombasa Road, Konza is another 10 kilometers down that way. Okay. And you're 40 minutes from Nairobi. Mm. Again, the hill. Yes. The yes. Yeah. And so the good thing about this place is that um, there is a zoning kind of uh, law, which I think is in the process of being developed or it's, it's, it's evolving. So the idea is that you can't build houses above two levels uh -huh. or three levels, right? So you're not going to get that view blocked out in any time in the near future. And all in all, if nothing else, this is an excellent place to have a barbecue, Alex. Oh yeah, you can do a barbecue. Imagine that starlit sky, nice little barbecue out here. Nice. Yes. Unique. Market price is 26 million. Uh, since COVID, we've actually dropped that down to 24, and we are actually even supporting our buyers with very, very good payment plans. 
and of course we work with our partner banks who give anything from just facilitating mortgages to some even waiving legal costs and stamp duty and some of these other costs that maybe people don't factor in when they're looking at the buying price. Uh, we also have clients who come in cash because the cash of course incentivizes a better price. So whatever you're getting for 24 would be a lot lower if you're paying one-off payment. So we have a cash uh, payment plan as well. Or if you don't want to do a cash payment at one go or go through the bank, but you want time to also pay for the house, then we are able to look at how we can uh, work around that as well. So you could pay in maybe a 10% deposit and then have you know a timeline of six months to one year to pay out the rest, depending on what works for the buyer. Amazing. And indeed, this place is quite serene. And for those who want more information about the villas, here are the contacts. Many thanks for watching. Bye-bye.